Emma, thanks for joining us. You talked about wanting to see the team play a perfect game after the 2021 yeah. final. So let's start with your assessment. What did you make of today? Listen, they got an early goal, didn't help. Maybe slow start from us. But I thought we recovered well from that and created in the first half, two, three big chances. One offside goal, Guru's chance in particular. And as I said before, it had to be perfect. You had to score them chances because Barcelona are a fantastic team and their ball retention, as we know, is 70% and they will keep the ball better than us, which they did. But, you know, I thought, I can't ask any more of the players. I think they give their maximum. Um, it's half time. I remember that we lost uh, the Champions League after 25 minutes. So I think it's important for us to remember that the that it's half time and we're one nil down and it's important for us to learn and improve and get ready for the uh, away leg. Why the slow start? I don't know. I I think you know it's understandable. They're a top team and it's it's not because of desire or you want to, but it's for us. A poor, poor goal to concede, a poor time to concede, but I thought we reacted really well. It was a good spell in the first half. I think in the second half, there's some things that we're going to have to do even better, and that's for us to work at the training. Talk about the, the first half. Uh, the team, I noticed, managed to neutralise Barca in certain spaces, particularly Marin Mielder. What did you make of that? Yeah, I mean, the, the back three had a lot to do, and they did their best, and I thought Marin had a superb game. You made a change up just after half time, Lauren Jane's on for Yelena Kankovic. What was the thinking behind that? We knew we had a plan for 45 minutes and we had a plan for the next 45, and then within that, the entire squad is uh, important. And to, um, you know, so, you know, for me, this is, this is a team game and we have various strategies to try and win, and today, it, you know, it didn't happen. One team member returning to the pitch today was Penilla Harder. Uh, fantastic to see her back on the pitch. Uh, what did you make of the reception that she got from the crowd? Because it was definitely... Yeah, absolutely brilliant. But we've got to push. We've got to push her to get back to the level. She's not you know, played her. That's her first football match in a long time. So we knew we couldn't get more than 10, 15 minutes out of her. There's something for us to build on. I was actually going to ask. That was going to be my next question. How far away is she going to be from 90? Final one from me. What improvements would you like to see from the return leg at the new Camp? Look, we're not out of it. Uh, we're losing and it's important for our mentality um, to appreciate that, they, that Barcelona have fabulous qualities, they're a brilliant team. It will take a lot um, for us, but um, you know our focus has to be on the details and everything we do at the training ground this week. Jess Carter, thanks for joining us. What did you make of the team's performance, particularly Barca scoring in the first three minutes of the first half? Yeah, I think obviously um, we, were off, we got off to a really slow start. We were second to every ball. Um, and the goal going in was a massive wake-up call for us. Um, obviously, you can't give a team like Barca an extra yard anywhere. And I think that's what we did for like the first 15 minutes. But I think after that, we got ourselves all intruded back in the game and managed to get a little bit of momentum at times. And you've got to be aggressive against this Barca team, otherwise they'll just kind of will tear through you. I think that we were really resilient in defence. Um, everyone, I think, defended quite well. Um, I think that we just have to work on our, on our game going forward on how we can punish them. Why did you guys give Barca that extra yard? Just the fact, you know, what happened in the 2021 final, was that a factor, do you think? Um, in my opinion, we've moved on from 2021. Um, you know, that was a few years ago now, and, and we're trying to figure out how we can best beat the team, um, Barca, uh, as the team we are now, um, really. And I think that um, it wasn't our game plan to be a, to be a step foot off them. Uh, that's not what we wanted to do, but I think we just, we just started a bit slow and... Um, I think that we just we needed a minute to get ourselves together and it's really tough when you can see so early on against a great team but I think that we did well to kill that momentum um, to stop them going two, three, four goals up and um, try and get a little bit of control in the game defensively. Guru Wrighton's goal was ruled off offside. Did you think it was offside? Yeah, I thought so. Um, I thought Sam's run was offside. I mean, it was a good play um, and, you know, it was probably our best, our best passage of play for us, to be honest, but... Um, yeah, and no, I think she was off. I've not seen it back, though. For you and the team, is it 1-0, OK, we can work with that? Or is it 1-0, it's going to be difficult to try and get a result away from home? I think it's both. You know, going to anyone's um, home ground is tough. You know, Cap Nou is going to be an absolute fortress for them. But all we can do is, is 
go back, review this game, work on what we can work on, look at the things that we can do to go and punish them because we were able to get in behind and we were able to create a couple of chances and we will get another chance when we go to Camp Nou as well, you know. 1-0 to me is a scoreline where we'll look at it and be like, that's something that we can work with and that's somewhere we're able to exploit them on. I think that we'll, we will be able to go and get a goal. Um, if we put on another defensive resilient display, then I don't think there's any reason why we can't go there and, um, and try and punish them. You mentioned the word resilient a couple of times, and I guess from your point of view, it was good that it's only a 1-0 that you were able to show, and the rest of your teammates were able to suffocate Barca in part during that game. Yeah, for sure. I mean, like, Barca's an exceptional team, you know, with the, the players that they, can, that they have to combine and also stretching behind. They've got some very far strong players on their team. So I think that, um, I think it, why well, I say resilient because of we were almost down and out by our spin step away from the ball for the first 15 minutes so to get ourselves back in the game and get back on top in an aggressive press at times and to win the ball high up and I think that that is good rather than us just dropping lower and lower and lower on the pitch that's I think why I say resilient. What positives can you take from this match and build it into the return leg away? I think to, to go a goal behind and still stay in the game um, is, is a massive thing that we can take from it um, and the fact that when we when we win the ball, we can get in behind with them. We need a bit more quality in that ball um, when we do look to exploit them. Um, and that, that's something that obviously we will work on uh, going forward. But I think the fact that we, we had a couple of chances we were able to get into their half and get to their final third and get a few set pieces. And obviously we have to look to try and capitalise on them next time. 27,000 here today. How special was it to have so many fans here at the last game in terms of Champions League football here at Stamford Bridge for your team? Yeah, the fans are amazing. They've been incredible this season, but each time we've come to Stamford Bridge, they've been loud, they've been super energetic, and that's something that we've, we've really valued going forward, and hopefully we can continue that.